the world of ESG reporting is evolving, and this includes tax. There are various mandatory and voluntary sustainability reporting frameworks that have a tax element, and it's crucial that tax leaders keep pace with these changes. So what are the key areas to think about and how can you ensure you're prepared for the new rules coming down the line? The most comprehensive of these new frameworks is the EU's new Corporate Sustainability Reporting Directive, or CSRD. The CSRD makes sustainability reporting mandatory for our large number of EU and non-EU companies starting in 2024. Materiality is measured in a different way to what many of us might be used to. We have to consider the business's impact on people and the planet, known as impact materiality, and the financial effect on the company, known as financial materiality. There are three CSRD tax angles to consider. Firstly, in relation to materiality. So tax can, in and of itself, be a material topic. Tax is a social issue. The tax that your business pays is one of the main ways it contributes to society. Whether or not tax is material will depend on a number of factors, including your approach to tax governance, any tax planning arrangements you've entered into, and how tax compares as a material issue to other topics identified. In addition, you're required to consider a number of specific topics when undertaking a materiality assessment. One such topic is an organisation's impact on affected communities, which includes a specific reference to tax. This looks at whether you've entered into any aggressive strategies to minimise tax, particularly with respect to operations in developing countries. If this does apply, it'll need to be factored into your materiality assessment. Secondly, one of the requirements of the CSRD is disclosure of compliance with the EU taxonomy. The EU taxonomy references the OECD's minimum safeguards. This essentially means that for your business to report that its activities are sustainable, you have to, amongst other things, meet these minimum safeguards. One of the areas covered by the minimum safeguards is tax, and the key points are that you comply with both the letter and the spirit of the tax legislation, for example, you don't engage in aggressive tax planning or tax evasion, and that your tax governance processes are robust and tax governance is a board level issue. You have to think about tax in its broadest sense here and on a global basis. Thirdly, demonstrating your approach to tax can be a key way of building trust. Tax at its heart is a sustainability issue, so being able to demonstrate you have a strong approach to tax governance, for example, through a published tax strategy or country by country reporting with supporting narrative will support your CSRD reporting. So what does this actually mean from a practical perspective? Tax teams should work through these points and ensure the response is documented. For example, if you've got gaps in your tax governance, now is really the time to start addressing these so you can demonstrate compliance with the minimum safeguards. Or from a tax transparency perspective, you should consider how your public narrative in relation to tax supports your wider sustainability objectives. Not all businesses will have to report on tax under CSRD, but it's always going to need to be considered. If you'd like any help with any of the points covered, please get in touch.